costs for all of us are on the rise, whether it's your premium, your deductible, or pre prescriptions. When you add them all up, the cost is rising faster than your wages. But the new GOP health plan presents a new unknown who will and will not be covered. Tonight, we're getting a first look at how this proposal will impact us here in Colorado. Adam? Well, the GOP's health care plan is making its way through committees right now. Here's some video of that today. And President Trump says he supports this plan. And tonight, we're getting a first look at how it will impact hundreds of thousands of people on Medicaid right here in Colorado. Look at this graph from the nonpartisan group Colorado Health Institute. New numbers show Colorado is facing the possibility of losing $14 billion in federal funding for Medicaid by 2030. That money was a big part of Obamacare. Especially in Colorado, the Affordable Care Act was a story of Medicaid expansion. That's where the vast majority of people got their coverage. And we'd probably see that go almost all away as the American Health Care Act is currently written. They project 600,000 fewer people would be covered by Medicaid 13 years from now. Here's what stays the same. People traditionally covered by Medicaid, like poor families, children, and the disabled, are still going to be covered. The people it really impacts are the half a million new people who receive Medicaid under the 2008 expansion. Most of those people made too much money for Medicaid, but not enough to afford their own private insurance. If Colorado wants to keep that group on Medicaid, the state has to figure out a way to pay for it. We kind of think that that's a big enough chunk of money that um, we just don't have that lying around right now in our state budget. Every single dollar that we as a state spend on a program has to come out of another program. Republicans working on this plan right now say the federal government can't keep up with the growing costs of the Affordable Care Act either. And the Trump administration argues the Affordable Care Act would collapse on its own by 2030 without their intervention to change the plan. This is just the beginning of what you can bet will be a pretty long battle. I'm Adam Hammond for Denver 7.